Now we're doing an out cab inspection. So what we want to do is we want to go back just a little bit. I would say like maybe five feet. And then as you're going back at this angle, you want to look under the hood. You want to make sure that there are no leaks. So as you look under the hood, you're inspecting and he's saying, under the hood, there is no leaks. And then you work from the top of the vehicle in detail all the way to the bottom of the vehicle. So you start on this side and you say the windshield is properly mounted to the vehicle. It's clean. It's not cracked, broken or damaged and there's no illegal stickers. My windshield wiper is properly mounted. It's not cracked, broken or damaged. The wiper arm is properly mounted. It's not cracked, broken or damaged. The wiper rubber is properly mounted. It is in good condition. It is not dry, ripped or damaged. And it gives proper tension to the windshield. The hood is properly mounted to the vehicle. It is in good condition. It is not broken. It is not damaged. The grill is properly mounted to the vehicle. It is not cracked, broken or damaged. My headlights is properly mounted to the vehicle. It is clear color. It is in good condition. It is not cracked, broken or damaged. My indicator lights is properly mounted to the vehicle. It is amber color. It is not cracked, broken or damaged. The front bumper is properly mounted to the vehicle. It is not cracked, broken, or damaged. The license plate, it is clean. It is in good condition. It is not broken, it is not damaged. There are no missing bolts. And it indicates that it is a school vehicle. Now you wanna work your way to the side. We walk this way. And we start here. My side mirror is properly mounted to the frame. It is clean. It is not cracked, broken, or damaged, and it is adjusted to my viewing. The mirror frame is properly mounted to the body. It is in good condition. It is not cracked, broken, or damaged. The driver door handle. I must open it. My driver door handle. It is not missing. It is in good condition. It opens and it closes properly. You leave the door open. The rubber frame is properly mounted. It is in good condition. It is not ripped and it is not damaged. The hinges to the door is present, it is not missing, it is not broken, it is not damaged. The driver area is clean, there is no objects in the way. The passenger door handle is present, it is not missing, it is in good condition. It opens and it closes properly from the outside. And then you open it again, and you do the same like you did with the driver door. The rubber frame is in good condition. It is not ripped, it is not damaged, and is properly mounted. Passenger area is clean. There are no objects in the way. As you work your way here, you must understand that there's a gas tank right next to the tire. You want to mention that the gas tank is properly mounted to the vehicle and there are no leaks. You, as you work your way, you want to do the fuel lid. The fuel lid opens and closes properly. Excuse me. The fuel cap is properly mounted and is sealed tight. Now you work your way to the back. My brake lights, rather, my brake lights. It is red color. It's properly mounted to the vehicle. It is not cracked, it is not broken, it is not damaged. 
The second row is the signal lights. My signal lights, it is red color. It's properly mounted to the vehicle. It is not cracked, it is not broken, it is not damaged. Here are the backup lights. My backup lights, it is clear color. It's properly mounted to the vehicle. It is not cracked, it is not broken, it is not damaged. Now you work your way down in detail. The rear windshield is properly mounted to the vehicle. It is clean. It is not cracked, it is not broken, it is not damaged, and there are no illegal stickers. The rear windshield wiper is properly mounted to the vehicle. The arm, it is in good condition. It is not cracked, it is not broken, it is not damaged. The wiper rubber is properly mounted. It is not dry, it is not ripped, it is not damaged, and it gives proper tension to the windshield. Now you also want to mention the trunk because there are no emergency exits. So you want to mention the trunk. My trunk, it opens and it closes properly. My license plate is properly mounted to the vehicle. It is clean. It is not cracked, it is not broken, it is not damaged. There are no missing bolts, and it indicates that it is a school vehicle. My rear bumper is properly mounted to the vehicle. It is not cracked, it is not broken, it is not damaged. Now you want to point at the muffler. The muffler is properly mounted to the vehicle. It is in good condition and there are no signs of leaks of carbon monoxide, which is very important. That's the key word, carbon monoxide. Now we're gonna work our way this way. As you described on the left side, you'll be doing the same for the right side. Now we're gonna work our way around and we're gonna start doing the tires. Now per se, if you was questioned by an inspector and what they would tell you is what's the difference between the left side and the right side, the right side has the exhaust and the left side has the tank. So there's two different things that are regards on both sides, which is why it's important that you must mention both sides under the vehicle.